Welcome to the first episode of Tech Talk. Brought to you by Anoka Technical College, Tech Talk will give you an in-depth look at higher education as well as some of the programs at Anoka Technical College. I am Jeff Stevenson, an English instructor and your host for today's episode. With me today, I have the president of Anoka Technical College, Ann Wayant, and later on we will have Dan Trushan, a faculty member in the Electronic Engineering T Technology Program. President Wayne, it's good to have you here. Thank you for coming. Well, it's great to be here with you today, Jeff. Thank you. This is a busy time for Anoka Tech, and I think our viewers would be interested to know about that. So we'll start here. What has been happening at Anoka Tech since last summer? It's been an incredibly busy and rich fall semester. We built on a lot of the work that uh, people did over the summer while some people were on vacation and enjoying good Minnesota weather. We had faculty and staff at the college preparing for the fall. We did manufacturing camps for young people from our community. We had uh, faculty and staff working on curriculum and program development and it walked us into a fall semester where We've got program growth. We are focusing on manufacturing and healthcare and really meeting the needs of our students in our community. So since graduation, it is being a vital fall at Anoka Technical College. So how many students are currently enrolled at Anoka Tech? We have just about 4,000 students, Jeff, and uh, most of our programs are full right now. We're really experiencing uh, some significant growth at the college that is good for students, good for the college, good for the community. So how do the figures compared to previous years? Uh, we are up about 3% uh, on a headcount basis and in terms of our full-time enrollment and that's important for us because our funding has some relationship to that. We're up about 2.2%. Both of those are good strong numbers for the fall semester. Wow, that, that's really amazing because times are tough right now and mm -hmm. with the economic downturn and with high unemployment um, surrounding us. Why do you think that the college has experienced this increase in enrollment? Well, historically, two-year colleges, technical colleges, tend to do well in tough economic times, and that's because we offer the programs that uh, students that our community need to get a good job, keep a good job, develop the skills that an individual might need to progress. So we're the right place at the right time in our community for people who, frankly, are looking at increased employability in a tough economic market. Now, last year we celebrated our 40th mm -hmm. birthday, and so one of the things that we should probably talk about is how the college has grown over and changed over time. Mm -hmm. So how is the college different today than it was 40 years ago or even 10 years ago? Well, back in 1967, I'm told, we had a college that uh, came into being from an old sheet metal manufacturing plant. Our school district got us started, and we had programs like gunsmithing and metalsmithing, things that you might not find so much in the 21st century. Ten years ago, we were looking at moving forward and building new programs to meet the needs of the community, and through all that time, we've remained a institution that's really responsive to the needs of the community. Last year in our anniversary year I think we took some time to pause and reflect on that history and start to look at charting the course for Anoka Tech in the next 40 minutes or 40 days or 40 years to ensure that our programs really do reflect the manufacturing, healthcare, service needs of our community and that we can attract people to them so we have a well-skilled workforce here in the Northwest Metro region. And that brings us to the mission of Anoka Technical mm -hmm. College, which um, actually, what, what is the mission of Well, Anoka the Technical mission College? of our college developed by our community, our faculty, our staff, our community partners is to provide innovative career and technical education to help our students and communities live and learn well. And attached to that is the vision. It's mm -hmm. how we view ourselves as we go forward in time. And at Anoka Tech, what is the vision of Anoka Tech? Well, I'm proud to say we have a vision that is bold, that uh, all of the folks involved in our strategic planning efforts encouraged us to be bold as we look at our future. And we have a vision that uh, our college will be a vital student and community focused institution providing the finest career and technical education in Minnesota. So. We've, we've gone through this process of making this mm -hmm. new vision and, and mission. And so what does this actually mean for the community and, and the students of our, of our campus? It means a vital and engaged future. Uh, our planning effort really allowed us to bring all the voices to the table for the first time to talk about why our institution is important, what value we provide to the community, and how we need to work together as faculty, as staff, as students and community partners to make sure good strong programs are available for our students, that they prepare them for good jobs, both current jobs and emerging jobs, 
and the price of an education is one that students can afford and we offer education in ways that fit with busy schedules. As you know, most of our students have families, they work, they have many, many commitments that they're juggling when they come to Anoka Technical College and we need to make sure our programs fit their schedules and more importantly fit their pocketbooks. Yes. Now I recently read an article and in the Anoka County Union about the college hosting a very successful K-14 symposium. Mm -hmm. um, for those of us who aren't familiar with the K-14 um, programs or, or K-14 in general, what is that and what does it mean for the people watching our program? Sure. Well, as you know, Jeff, and as uh, some of our community friends know, but not as many as we would like, Anoka Technical College shares its campus with the Secondary Technical Education Program, that's STEP the junior and senior years and technical programs for students who attend high schools in District 11 here in uh, Anoka County. We have at any given time between five and 700 high school students on our college campus exploring technical careers, preparing for not only high school graduation, but enrollment in college and getting the skills they need to get a good job. Our K-14 Symposium is our way of sharing our story with our partners in education, with other faculty, other administrators, elected officials and policymakers to suggest that we really need to focus on technical education, on technical careers, on making sure young people get interested in programs like welding and machining, electronics engineering technology in high school so they graduate from high school prepared for college and ready with their college degree to get out into the workforce and contribute to our community. So the K-14 Symposium is a way to share our story, share good practice, and really promote this throughout our community and throughout the state of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You've also, during the course of this interview, you mentioned the great strides that the college has made over the past few years. Now, do you think many people know about all that Anoka Technical College has to offer? Frankly, Jeff, I don't. And I think at Anoka Technical College, we suffer as many technical colleges do from uh, the community not really knowing what it is that we do. I think we are one of the best kept secrets in the Northwest Metro region. And it's incumbent on us, on you and me and our students to tell that story better because in tough economic times, we know that there are many people in our community who could benefit from what we offer at Anoka Tech. So we need to do a better job of telling that story. Okay, so how can people find out more about Anoka Technical College? Well, we always invite uh, visitors to the campus. We're on Highway 10 in Thurston in Anoka, and if you come to visit us, we'll find someone to uh, talk with you and give you a tour and give you a sense of what our programs are, as well as financial aid and other services that a student might need. If you're a computer person, and many of our viewers I'm sure are, I would encourage them to go to www.anocatech.edu to explore programs, get a sense of our faculty, learn a bit more about our students, and hopefully get inspired to come out and pay us a visit sometime. Well, thank you, President Land. Um, hopefully some of our viewers will take you up on your invitation and stop by the college. Um, after this message, um, we will be learning about the Electronic Engineering Technology Program with faculty member Dan Trushan. This is Anoka Technical College's Tech Talk. We will be right back. <laughs> 